All right, so select your default queue, press tab, go into edit mode. And let me just make sure you can see what I'm pressing by turning on my screen recording. There you go. Uh, press Control R to create a loop cut. And I'm gonna place it over here, then press Control R to create more loop cuts, but scroll your mouse wheel up for three cuts. And there we got three specific points. Let's hold in Shift and select each individual vert. Now to, next thing you wanna do is press Control Shift B. And that's how you bevel a vertices. If you didn't know that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And then over here, if you didn't know this, click on bevel, increase the segments to five. And if you want this to be round, make this 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 would be more square. In this case, we're gonna use 0 0.1. All right, now that you've done that, Click over here, go to individual origin and change to faces and then press E to extrude, S to scale extrude and chuck it to about there. Then press G to grab, Z to lock to the Z axis and bring it out to about, I don't know, something like that. And then press E to bring down like that. And next thing you can do is press tab, go into object mode and that's how you create those cuts. Right click, shade smooth. Object Data Properties, Normals, Auto Smooth at 30. And we make this perhaps, just trying to find the right angle. I think 30 is actually perfect. Now we can just add a material and see how it looks. Go to Material Settings, let's change to Glossy. Give it a strength of 0 0.1 so it really shines. And go to your Shift A mesh and let's add a plane S10, GZ minus one. For contrast, let's give this a material as well, glossy as well. Change this to gold, I guess, 0 0.2. And let's add an environmental texture. You can go to hdrhaven.com to download one. I'm gonna use the first one I see, which is this one over here. And now we can switch to render view mode. It may take a little while to load. So just give your PC a moment if you've got a potato PC like mine. And once it loads, we're gonna quickly mess with the render settings to take it a step further. So go to your render settings, Turn on screen space ref reflection, which is important. You can turn on bloom if you like as well, as well as ambient occlusion. Click on your camera icon over here, and perhaps we want to rotate this on the x-axis, 90 degrees. Rotate this on the z-axis, 45 degrees. And let's take a look at these cuts. They look pretty cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Perhaps you want refraction as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.